I've seen footage of Meryl Streep giving Polanski a standing ovation. He wasn't at the Oscars where she did it because he's not allowed back into America because he is a convicted child rapist of a 13-year-old girl. That's why he's not allowed back, and there are now more allegations. But he's been fated in Hollywood in his absence for decades. I'm, I'm always astounded by Roman Polanski. I mean, this is a man convicted of a criminal offence with sex with an underage girl. He escaped from the country, and he's revered as a hero. And the international mm. stars queue up to be in his movies. I've never understood it. This guy's a convicted felon. He should be arrested and sent back to mm. America. There is no excuse. But it's weird that famous international actors want to be in his movies. I just don't think there's any understanding of how that can Do be. Do you think there'll be other... Harvey Weinstein's that will now get taken down in Hollywood, moguls and big producers? I mean, the answer is I think there are people in all industries. I, mean, I just don't think it's about Hollywood. I think... I'm sure people watching this programme now in the depths of deep Britain have got examples in their own offices of people like that and they're scared to come forward. What I hope this does is give people the courage who are sexually harassed and intimidated in this way to out the person that does it. Because, you, you know, if you're looking at this television programme now, you owe it to younger people behind you mm. to come and do, say this. Because if you have a bad experience and you're now, you know, in your mid-30s, 40s, there are younger people coming through who could benefit from your health and protection. And we all know people who behave like this. Yeah. Caroline, um, there's one person responsible for the abuse in this case, and that's Harvey Weinstein. Do you think that uh, this will change the culture of Hollywood? Because it seems there were multiple complaints about his behaviour, whether people complained in the company, whether somebody went to the police, whether somebody told colleagues, and there was a sort of culture of silence because it was just accepted that certain individuals act like that. Do you think this will mark a sea change? I do. I think that every producer, director, anyone in a position of power who's engaging in similar behavior has now been put on notice. Um, I think it's really obvious that it will affect the bottom line. And when you look at how Hollywood operates, we're talking about money here. And in fact, I would have very much agree with Jonathan, right, that every industry operates this way. Um, and hopefully this puts not just Hollywood on notice, uh, but other industries that have this issue. Uh, in the United States alone, one in three women and one in ten men will face some form of sexual harassment during their employment years. Um, those are unacceptable numbers, and even more unacceptable is that very few file uh, complaints, and when they do, they often don't get any justice and, in fact, face a barrage of people blaming them. I think in the last couple of days, we've seen Donna Karen um, and now Lindsay Lohan come out mm -hmm. and blame the women involved with Harvey Weinstein. Um, the sort of victim-blaming culture, uh, I think, really needs to shift before we can say comfortably, yes, it's good to report, and it's not going to end your career career come at great personal cost. Well said. Mm -hmm. Caroline Heldman, thanks very much indeed.